Have you ever rubbed a balloon on your head and let it stick to your hair? As it turns out, rubbing a balloon to your head causes more than just a bad hair day. It creates static electricity. Static electricity is caused by the transfer of electric charges. Electric charge is a property of electrons and protons, which are parts of atoms, which are the tiny bits that make up everything. Electrons have a negative charge and protons have a positive charge. There's another type of particle that has no charge. It's called a neutron. Protons and neutrons are in the nuclei of atoms, whereas electrons fly about in a cloud outside of the nucleus. Electric charges can be added and subtracted. If you've got two protons, you can add up one positive charge and one positive charge to make two positive charges. If you have a proton, and an electron, the charges can cancel out because you have positive one and negative one, which makes a net charge of zero. An electron, I'm sorry, an atom that looks like this is neutral because it has a net charge of zero. When you rub a balloon to your head, you're causing the transfer of electrons from your hair to the balloon. Since the electrons are leaving your hair, your hair ends up with a positive charge and then the balloon ends up with a negative charge. The positive charge on your head exists because the protons stay behind when the electrons leave. This means that the net charge is positive. Negative charges and positive charges attract, which is why the balloon sticks to your head. Like charges repel, so protons push each other apart and electrons push each other apart. However, remember that protons and electrons are attracted to each other because they have different charges. This is why people say that opposites attract. These electrons that are transferred from your hair to the balloon are what make up the electric current that powers your television, light bulbs, and much more. However, electric current is very different from static electricity. The negative charge on your balloon is called static electricity because the charges are static, which means that they don't move. Once the electrons are on the balloon, they stay there. In an electric current or dynamic electricity, the charges are dynamic, which means that they move. Electrical wires, like in this diagram here, conduct dynamic electricity or current. Electrical wires are like racetracks for electrons. Electrons travel very quickly through the wires to power electronic devices. When you flip a switch, you complete the racetrack loop, allowing the electrons to race through. Materials that make good electron racetracks are called conductors. Metals, such as copper or even gold, are good conductors. Materials that make bad racetracks are called insulators, like plastic. Insulators are often wrapped around wires to keep the electrons on the track. Just to review, electrons are negatively charged particles and protons are positively charged particles. The amount of electric charge on a proton is equal to the amount of charge on an electron. This means that one proton plus one electron has a charge of zero, a net charge of zero, that is. This means neutrality. Neutrons have no charge. They're just particles. Electrons are what make up electricity. They move in currents through electrical wires. Static electricity is when electrons are transferred from one object to another and stay there. An electric current is when electrons are in motion on a conductor, which behaves like an electron racetrack. See you soon!